welcome back to Peterson Auto. Today we're installing an EGT gauge. Hopefully there's not too much glare in that for you. I already have the triple pillar pod up and uh, the gauge wired in. The wiring's uh, pretty basic. You need a uh, fused power, a constant power, and this one that's it, but it should have a light power. For some reason it doesn't. It just lights up all the time. Uh, this one only needs the constant power because it has this button here that changes the colors. It's a, uh, don't know if you can see that or not, glow shift right there in the center. Um, cheap piece of crap gauge, but better than nothing, you know. Um, this is something that, as long as you're roughly where you need to be, you're good. Triple pillar, as like the Automator or whoever makes them. Um, it's just got screw here, here down there and down there doesn't come with any of the holes drilled you pretty much pull the a pillar piece put the triple pod in place find where your holes need to be where your screws need to be drill a hole put a screw in put the cap on very simple and easy we're not going to cover that because it's literally took me like 30 seconds um but what we are going to cover is the installation of the actual pyrometer all the cablings ran down to that uh, kick panel there. So, um, you know, when I'm referencing cables, they're going to be down there just to let you know. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much all going to be under the hood. Well, under the truck. Alright. Now we're under the truck, under the driver's side. You can see the oil cooler right back there. The block heater, the oil filter. The exhaust manifold, and there's the start of the up pipe. This is a manual, so there's your slave cylinder on the side of the transmission, as you can see. So now you're located. We're going to drill a hole. It's going to be right under my fingertip, right there. Actually, probably right down about there. As you can see, it's a fairly flat, even area there. So getting a drill bit there uh, shouldn't be a problem. You might have to use a small adjustable versus an actual uh, tap, but again, uh, tap wrench, but again, no real big deal there. Uh, due to the camera getting shavings on it, I'm going to drill the hole and then show you where I drilled the hole. Alright YouTube, the hole is drilled and tapped. It is a eighth inch national pipe thread. I used a 21 64ths drill bit, supposed to be 0.332 for 8th inch national pipe thread. The 21 64th is 0.328, if I recall. So they're close. Um, no cigar, but close. You know, so uh, if you're careful and you break your chip every so often, you'll be fine. Uh, now I'm going to go up into the cab. You can see where those two wires are running through. This is where, if this was an older truck, factory speedo cable would go. Um, since this is a drive-by wire setup, doesn't have a speedo cable. Um, has an electronic sender. Um, we'll just have to push, we'll be pushing the uh, sender for the uh, pyrometer through there and then putting it in the hole. Here is the actual sending unit. This part here is what's going to be going through that hole. So you're going to take these ferrules off, push it through, put the ferrules back on. And then there's the electrical connector right here, a black one you can kind of see through the bag. That'll plug into the lead that is under the dash currently. So yep, that's our next step. I'm going to get that routed and show you how to connect everything. Okay, YouTube. We have our probe right here. You have this uh, ferrule, I mean this uh, nut that goes on the back side. Uh, you have a ferrule right here. Ow. You have a uh, three-year-old coming to visit us. He is a very enthusiastic helper. And you have this part here, which actually goes in to the uh, hole you drill. Thank you, Cy. Alright, you gonna sit and watch? Yeah. Okay, well, we got to go back a little bit. What? Right there? There we go, that's perfect. Okay, so we have this part that goes into the hole you drilled. 
Sai's gonna show it to you here. Good job, bud. Can daddy have that back? Thank you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna see which way your ferrule goes. It goes with the uh, steeper side into the part that goes into, what's it called? Epic. Into the adapter. What's above your head, Sai? Is that an engine? No, it goes by car. It goes by car. car. Okay. That came it didn't came it. So you can't play with the camera. YouTube's trying to watch Daddy. Where, where's Daddy at? Okay, right there. Alright, so you're putting your ferrule in. As you can see. So. I'm, down, I'm down here. Yep, you're down here with me. Yeah. Sorry for the horrible, horrible yeah. filming here, YouTube. Three-year-olds don't make the greatest cameramen. So we're just going to thread this in until it's tight enough to seal. Um, depending on how well you tapped it, you may only get a few threads, you may get 40 threads. So just get it till it's pretty tight. You don't have to go super tight because you might crack the cast. And I'm going to give it one more spin, I think. Yeah, okay. You take your compression nut and your ferrule. Put your compression nut. Let's see, there we go. Onto your probe. And you put your ferrule onto your probe. You want to stick about an inch in. So the way I always do this is you go ahead and you put it in just about as far as it'll go. And then you pull it back. I'm going to pull it back about halfway. Uh, you got it. And then tighten this up. I got it. Okay, now you need to just tighten up this nut here. And it don't take much to tighten it. Feed your wire the rest of the way up through. Once you get it the whole way in and up through, we're done under the truck, YouTube. Now we got to go up top. Okay, YouTube, here is the uh, wire plugged in. We're just going to tuck it back behind this aluminum plate for now. So we have speaker wires and gauge wires and a whole bunch of other wires right in here. So I'm just going to tuck it up back behind that aluminum plate. And that way it'll stay out of the way and not get caught on anything. And we'll be good to go. Put the kick panel back in. Uh, right back there behind the gas pedal, you can see the black wire and the silver wire for the silver wires for the EGT Pro, back black wires the backup camera. You can see where they're running back in through there. Um, so that's where that speedo hole is, uh, speedo grommet hole is on the uh, inside of the truck. So after this, we can go ahead and start it up and see how it works. Um, when you're drilling, a couple little tips for you when you're drilling. Here's all the drill bits I used, the whole way up to 21 64ths. Uh, someone somehow put my seat back on me. Did you do that? Did you take daddy's seat? He is so camera shy. He's off the camera. He'll be happy. Let me. But yeah, that's how to hook up the EGT gauge in your diesel pickup truck. Um, install for most uh, of these gauges is going to be almost exactly the same. Uh, the wiring is basic and easy. There's plenty of how-tos on YouTube on that. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video on it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, would like to donate a dollar, or, uh, you know, just want to chit-chat, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Peterson Auto.